draft segments are undefeated. They have never lost. They have never tied. They are always fun. They're always exciting. We celebrate the NFL draft every spring, but we like to keep the fun going, making up our own drafts, rough or otherwise. So we've done this before. We have drafted teams as a cast of the uh, fastest players in NFL history, the most likable players you could draft. This one's going to be really fun. We are about to do a four-team draft, three rounds of the most exciting players in NFL history. I won't even throw any names out. I don't want to spoil it, but you take whoever you want. And what we see with these segments is sometimes we start to define things differently. Whatever your definition of exciting will be, and then we will put it to the masses, and they will vote on who has the best team, and hopefully take some heat off our friends at Pro Football Focus. Next, Will Selva. (laughs) You will be drafting first, then Maurice Jones-Drew, then Peter, then myself, And I will go twice because it's a snake draft, so it just goes around and around. 20 seconds per pick. One more time, friends. The draft of the most exciting players in NFL history, Will Selva. You are on the clock. I love the fact that I'm first because I get a chance to pick Randy Moss. We've already seen his one-handed catch twice on this program back in 2010 against the Jets against Revis Island. He gets the handout. Remember, we had Nate Burleson on this program who would regale us with yeah. stories about Randy Race. Moss. How one time hey, the quarterback don't care. went over this way and caught the ball. Time. Yeah, that, dude, Nothing come Nate. on, stop. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to go with, with Uncle Prime, Deion Sanders. Very simple. It, you know, yeah, why not? Yeah, there it is. Prime, do it all, everything. On to you. Yep. Go, Peter. Yep, I'm not going to need 20 seconds either. Give me the most electrifying, exciting quarterback of all time. I will take Mr. Michael Vick, third overall. When I would watch Michael Vick get out of the pocket, there was nothing like it at the time. Michael Vick in his prime. Let's go. All right, I'm thrilled about this. See, this is always interesting. I, will, I think Randy Moss, one of the best players of all time. Is he pound for pound the most exciting? I don't know. Uh, I'm thrilled. I go back to back. My two picks, very simple. Uh, I'm going to go with Barry Sanders as the most exciting. He ran for losses all the time, and then he ran for 90-yard gains. So that is the first round. I will take Barry Sanders with the fourth pick of the first round, and now I get another 20 seconds to start the second round, and I am thrilled about who I got here. This guy could have gone number one overall, and he will have a gold jacket probably next year. I will take Devin Hester as my second pick for Ooh, most exciting nice. team. I got Barry and Devin, Peter. How's things going in your life? Pretty good. I'm going to stay at quarterback, and I'm going to go with most electrifying player, maybe currently in the NFL. I'm going with Lamar Jackson. Lamar and Michael Vick. Oh, nice. Peter. We're talking about just exciting okay. players. Let's go roll the ball out and play. I'm watching both those guys no matter what. I've got Michael Vick and Lamar Jackson. Who you got, MJD? Hey, Peter, th- this is getting a little, I'm getting like sweaty right now. I like it. This is good. I know. You know yeah. What? I'm going to go out of the box on this one. You know, I'm just going to go with my dog, Beast Mode. Marshawn Money Lynch. Excited. Okay. Beast Quake. Yeah, I mean, the way he talks to the media, all that good stuff. Will. Oh, okay, for me, it's... Uh... Dante Hall, baby, we've had him on the show. Every time like he it. got the ball, you know, something exciting was going to happen. Starting, stopping, starting, stopping. It's Dante Hall for me, the human joystick, gentlemen. Awesome. You go again, Will. Oh, I go again. Okay. Uh, So I'm going to go quarterback. For this, I'm going to go Steve Young, guys. I'm going to go Steve Young because of everything that he did. He predates Michael Vick. I know you're going to say I'm a 49ers fan, but he was truly one of those multidimensional quarterbacks who could run and throw NFL MVP, Super Bowl MVP. That's my guy. It it had to be a quarterback, huh? It had to be a Niners quarterback there. Um, I'm torn at this one. Sorry, MJD. Um, but my youngest son, when this call came to me, we were in the car driving, and he said, Dad, you have to draft this guy. Most exciting player that I've seen, that i played against, Chad Ochocinco. Put him wow. on. All right. I like it. Oh, okay. Peter, your last pick. Okay. I've done two quarterbacks. I'm tempted to go with like one of the biggest hitters of all time. Like Steve Atwater comes to mind and I'm like, that would be really fun to like round it out with Atwater or maybe a linebacker who had a lot of sacks. Yet I'm going with a theme 
And if we're going quarterbacks, give me Steve Air McNair. I've got Vic, I've got Lamar, and I've got Air McNair. Ooh. I'm going to war with those three, man. Those are my guys. Most exciting players when they were in their primes. That's what I want. Peter, the draft analysts will wonder tomorrow morning if you were considering Randall Cunningham and you went with Steve McNair. Ooh. That would have fit your motif as well. All right, here's our Mr. Irrelevant. Uh, my first two picks were Barry Sanders and Devin Hester, and the last pick of our three-round draft for most exciting NFL players of all time. I'm going to go with a fun one and a person you could not take your eyes off of. I'm going to go with a defensive player, Sean Taylor, as 100% pure excitement on the football field. Oh, yeah. Couldn't stop mm. watching him. That rounds out our draft, guys. Uh, bring up the screen if we mm. have it. Will went first, then Maurice, then Peter. And uh, Maurice Jones-Drew, tell us your thoughts on your draft. Well, you know, I felt like uh, Dion was obviously the uh, the best. I could have went Odell Beckham Jr. two or three, but Marshawn Lynch, with the way he handled the media, the way people, even now, being an owner of a team was awesome. And then, I mean, Chad Ocho Cinco, it says Johnson, but he changes, he literally changed his name to Ocho Cinco. If that's not exciting, I don't know what else is. P. Shregs, uh, it doesn't have to be about your team. Who do you think right off the bat won this thing? Take it. I, I love all the teams. They're great. Kyle, you getting Sean Taylor at the end, though. There was something special there about Sean Taylor. I was talking about Steve Atwater. I was thinking, like, do I go Atwater? Do I go, uh, you know, one of the great, like, Raiders defenders, like Willie Brown? Um, Sean Taylor might have won this thing for you. You get the best kick returner of all time. You get the best running back of all time. And then you might have just had the most ferocious defensive player of all time with, with Sean Taylor. Kyle, you might have won this one. Inside the draft pick, in my last pick, I was actually considering another safety. I was considering Polamalu, who you also couldn't take your eyes off of. Mm. But Will, yeah. um, the number one overall pick is always scrutinized. Will, you went with yeah. Randy Moss. It's a great it pick, of course. Was, were you considering anybody else at number one? Oh, no, I was definitely considering Dion. That was the other one that I was going to go with mm -hmm. just because of the fact that he could return kicks and the fact that he never got the ball thrown to him. But when he did, he got interceptions, the high stepping, the flair, the swag. So he was the guy that I would have gone with. And then Michael Vick probably would have been the, the next choice after that. So Randy Moss, for me, when you talk about wide receivers, Jerry Rice, he set the standard. He was surgical out there. But when you talk about bringing the sizzle, that for me was Randy Moss. I think the fastest pick, if we had a stopwatch on all of them, was Peter going for Michael Vick. It's a fantastic pick. He wouldn't have gotten any farther. But listen, we're just chatting here what we think. We just did it. By the way, guys, how fun was that? We could have done 15 rounds. That was great. That was we a lot of players. Draft segments are undefeated.